Viper arm. We are autonomous robotic organisms from the planet Cybertron. Viper What's going on YouTube? In this video, I'll be going more into depth on how I got my Yukon to talk like this for you guys asking in the comments. And also, if you're interested in learning how I did this, just stay tuned. And I think this should be a pretty interesting video right here. So like I said, this will be a more in-depth video going through the wiring. Just make sure to watch the full video. That way you'll get a full understanding of all the wiring or you might miss a step and get confused pretty quick. Also, thanks for all the likes and comments and to everyone who subscribed to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, let me know down below in the comments as well. And also, if you haven't watched the video showing part one of the voice module right here working on my Yukon, I'll put a link on top of the screen so you guys can check it out. And let's get to it. Alright guys, so this is the box right here and it's from Directed, the model number is right here, 5.6L. And basically what's inside the box, you know, you'll have right here the main module right here. The module does say Hornet, but it does say the same number, 5.6L. And then you can see the plug right here for the main harness and then some of the smaller plugs for like the LED antenna and like 3.5mm jack and the adjustment right here. That's pretty much it but i'll show you more right now this is the harness that comes with the main harness and for this video i won't be using all the wires just like the ones to you know program like some of the custom audio and how i did it and stuff like that now i modified part of them but that's the siren that comes with it it's just two wires you can see right there and then it's got this this is like the main control that they have which has a built-in led and right here you can see a built-in microphone and then so you can see the three wires sticking out with the auxiliary jack and on the back of it it's got the valet switch so basically you know you would press on it and then you can talk on through this microphone right there but since i don't like that because i mean i'm gonna be you know pressing on that button for too long so i wouldn't be using that that's why i modified mine but i'm gonna show you and then this is the end of it you know a 3.5 jack and then the led wire and then the that ballet switch right there or programming switch but i'm gonna cut them up and adjust them this is another little plug for like remote start something and then the manual and they give you an additional you know separate little ballet switch right here it's the same at the end that blue connector like this one and it would basically replace this they both come in the box uh, or i had them both in here i don't know because i already had it open but basically that's how it comes and i'll show you right here what i'm gonna be using right now and how i do mine so I'm gonna be using it for right now to test it or do it with this little Milwaukee battery. It's a 12 volt battery. So on the top, it's gonna, use, it's gonna use a positive and ground on these two. That's all we need for this. And on the car, you know, it's gonna be different, but also I'll be using this auxiliary 3.5 to 3.5 ends. And then this wireless Bluetooth adapter, which is gonna make it to where it's wireless because right now it's not wireless you know and they don't have none of that stuff on there and then i'll have a separate toggle switch that way i don't have to hold that you know button on i could just have it on and leave it on and then when i want to just turn it off and then i'll put a separate led just like on the yukon and i'll have this microphone just for to show you i guess you know to test them out but I'm, i don't really use this on my truck i just basically have this and i'll show you real quick let me wire them up real quick to show you what wires we're going to be using and we'll go from there also if you like this content don't forget to like comment and subscribe to help the channel grow and let's keep going make sure to watch the full video to get the full understanding of what i'm doing right here because you know it can get a little complicated if, you know if you never did this before but i'll try to keep it as simple as i can and let's start with this right here so i did go ahead and cut off the the wiring on on their module right here which had remember the led which that led goes to this blue and red wire the blue wire is the negative and the red is the positive so i went and cut that and i did my own led which is right here and you can see where i crimped it it's just you know positive negative they happen to have the same color but they can be different colors you know just it won't work basically if you put it in reverse so you can't really mess it up it's just two pin so that's my separate LED and I'll plug that into the little module right here and then the next one is gonna be 
their little ballet switch. So this gray and black wire, and that's that back switch on, on the back of the unit right here. That'll do like, you know, like if you press on it, you can do the microphone or PA system. But, you know, you're not gonna wanna be pressing on this all the time and then talk. So that's why it's easier to do a toggle switch, is, which is right here. That way, you know, like I like to just turn it on and then it stays on and you can talk or whatever or do the Bluetooth module like I was saying earlier and, and again it's a uh, two wires to this blue connector you can see right here it's just black to black and gray to gray but it doesn't have to be you know like I said they're just different it's just two wire doesn't really matter that's the second part and then there is this third one right here which is their auxiliary and that goes to their microphone their it's a 3.5 millimeter jack and that one I will be using this right here the Bluetooth adapter but that one I didn't have to cut because it's already built in on the car I I do add a uh, extension of this aux because you can see it's right here there's an aux right there because whenever this gets installed into the car you really won't be able to get to it because usually you know it's hidden or tucked away so you would purchase a, an extension and I can try to link one on the screen and then also I mean it's just an extension basically but for this example I'll just be you know plugging it in directly into here and you'll see that later in the video like I said just make sure you watch it through so you can you know get a hang of what I'm doing right here and also don't forget to comment down below and I'll try to answer as many questions as I can but let's keep going so so that was all the pieces right here and I'll, I'll hook them up I'll plug them in right now real quick just so you can see all right guys so I went ahead and started some of the wiring and also I'll try to make this video as you know easy as possible as I can and as short as possible as I can but uh, if I'm going too fast or anything like that just make sure you know you can try to rewind or like pause the screen plug them in on here already so remember the LED and this is the on and off switch or valet switch that was on on this little part right here and then I have my Bluetooth adapter directly but remember it's gonna have an extension but in this case just to show you know it's plugged in there but it would really have an extension out to the car and then that would be it so I won't be using any more of this so I'll just you know take that away and then the next piece, you know, is gonna have to be the actual main harness on the unit right here. This is the main plug right there. And that plug is right here. So let me plug that in real quick so you can see. I just wired up that little section right here because you remember it was just one piece and now this is the main harness. So now we'll be dealing with the main harness right here, which is the one that has the most wiring and might be a little bit confusing, but it's really not. If you get to read the instructions, then you'll get it just follow along right here so we'll start off with these gray wires because they're pretty simple this is the speaker wire so this is gonna go to the PA system which they gave you right here right and in my case in the Yukon I added a bigger one to get a better sound on it if you remember also I'll, I'll post a, a link to my previous video if you haven't seen it before but this is the siren so you, and they're both gray it doesn't matter which way and then these two are both brown so you can reverse them it doesn't matter as long as one is on each end you can see the crimps right there and all the wiring you know is just crimp like whatever because it's just like a test video to show you guys but that's the speaker wire and you can see right here in the manual so the bottom one's gray gray they're going to that plug which is your speaker so that's what we did right there and then you can go you know your red is your battery wire so that goes directly to the battery that one you can see right there and that's for this example I'm, I'm going to this little Milwaukee battery so that's my positive right there and you see some other wires here I'm gonna show you right now why you know it's gonna be an ignition but basically that's your 12 volt wire or your battery wire in the car the next one is the black wire which is your ground chassis any metal in the car you can see it again right here and it's going into the battery again as well so that's your two power wires and then you have your third wire right here, the ignition, which is the yellow wire. And that one is basically, you know, when you turn your car on or the key forward, it powers up the system. And when you turn off the key, 
you know it turns it off so it doesn't drain your battery so that wire right here I ran and I just uh, hooked it up to the battery but I added a second switch so it can act like a key you know so that way it'll be on right there and then off so we're gonna pretend this is the car key right here for the video and I'll tighten up the wiring right now to make it look a little bit more simple because like I said I mean they look pretty bad right there it looks like a confusing and stuff but let's keep going with that so that's the yellow wire ignition and then they have the orange right here this one is armed input so whenever your alarm system gets armed or locked it throws out a ground um, output and usually that wire will be like orange the same color so you would join that wire to this orange wire and I have it right here and it's just hanging so because for this experiment or whatever for this video I'll be just you know tapping into a ground signal you'll see right now but we're just gonna leave that one hanging and let me just tighten up this wire real quick so it can look better all right so I went ahead and cleaned it up a little bit better so it can you know be a little bit simpler here but basically this is their power wiring you know going to your car battery and ignition and this would be our ignition right there again and you can see it's off right now and then up would be on and then I have this extra uh, ground wire that I added because we'll be using this ground for you know testing out right now because a lot of these triggers are gonna be by ground because most of the alarms will have like ground triggers as far as like with their shock sensors motion sensors or you know trunk sensors door sensors anything like that so if we check right here the next piece orange remember that was a ground right there when it's armed this blue and white is your optional sensor so like if you have a motion sensor another sensor right here red white optional sensor and an optional sensor so you got three those three wires are right here so I already looped them up together these are the ones that we're gonna program for those custom messages you know everybody wants to know how I added it or customized it well this is, these are the wires right here and I'll show you also how to do the audio and stuff like that but those three right there so I got those separate and then those are you can tell right here inputs and then we have brown to siren I'm not gonna be using that right now because I don't have my alarm right now green negative door input trigger and then blue hood or trunk input those are right here so I tape those right there and then these you know like I said I mean they go hooked up to your alarm so whenever your door is open or hood or anything like that it triggers this you know system to talk you know and give you an error or whatever but yeah basically these blue and green you know we'll set off the system and it'll say like you know door error or hood error if you leave it open or somebody opens it it basically triggers and that's why it talks so it'll say the generic codes because these have like you know generic viper sounds and then also i think in Jap japanese or chinese i'm not sure but the ones that we're gonna customize are just like they're like very short they're like three seconds but that's those wire right there yeah we, are, we already went through all these so that's basically it right there and then right now I'm just gonna show you on how I program the actual little customized messages so let me try to set that up I'll be using the iPad for that example as well so. all right so I'll go ahead and test out the system right now and to do that first I'm gonna have to move uh, some dip switch setting as you can see there's four little dip switches and number three says siren monitoring so i'll go ahead and turn that into the off position because it's not hooked up to a siren right now only the pa siren but not the actual alarm siren and this right here on top it has this little cover you just you know, pop it out and then you can flip the switches to whatever positions you want so you can see the settings right there and i'll go ahead and move it down and you'll probably hear it when it you know talks and stuff all right so right there it should work right now and I'll go ahead and test it out with the ground wire that I had extended from the battery right here. So if you see, you just make them touch. System off. And then when you take it off. System off. 
and those you can't change because they're like built into the actual system but you can change the language and then the programmable ones you can do them whenever you want or like i said do it as a pa but just we'll keep going right here so you can see what i'm talking about but if you see number one you can change it to japanese number two it'll just say generic and then or viper and then number four that's on the remote start but if we're not doing it on this example but i'll go ahead and you know change some of the other ones so you can see it or hear it that's one so that's like japanese or something yeah so i never i mean I never tried it on my truck like that, but if you want to, you can, you know, it won't be funny or whatever, or if you know Japanese, that's cool, but here it is again. And it'll do different things. So these are the trees right here. If you ever open your door or forget it, it should talk in Japanese as well. So let's see how that sounds, cause I've never heard it. <laughs> I just left it in English. I need to see if we can get the error messages. One of these is like the trunk and one is the door, so it should go off in Japanese as well. <laughs> yeah, so it's saying, I don't know what it's saying, but it's basically like something happened right there. Alright, so... That's Japanese. I think we're going to switch it back to English because I don't know what the hell she's saying. <laughs> but, alright, let me go ahead and change it. Back to English. And let's try it again real quick just to... So, basically you hear it right here in English now. Intruder alert. Hood or shot access. So it'll give you all that back, you know, like in errors and all that stuff. It talks in the generic voice, like I said. And let me see number two. We can do the, the Viper one. That would be like, this is the one that I have on mine. So I just turned on two. That'll say like Viper arm and stuff like that. So let's see. Viper disarm. Hood or trunk. Violation. Hood or trunk. Violation. So right now it's, it's keeping an error because I, I don't have the ignition on. So I'll go ahead and turn it on to reset it. And then off. And then now I should be able to go away. But. Viper arm. Viper disarm. Alright, so that's that's the basic stuff that comes with it right there, as you can see. It's pretty cool, but like I said, I mean they don't do anything extra until you program it. So that's when we're gonna start messing with these wires right here. And I'll go ahead and show you not how to do that. It's gonna be the fun part right here. Alright, before I show you the wiring on the actual customizable ones, I'm gonna show you real quick how you can you know try the PA system as well so you have the aux right here as I showed you earlier I unplugged the Bluetooth one right now and I'm plugging it in directly into this microphone that I had cut earlier I was gonna use the the other one I have right here but I think I don't know they're getting a lot of feedback I'm not sure if it's because of the laptop or I mean the iPad or I'm not sure but I'll go ahead and test it out for you real quick so you can see so let's say if I play music here you can see I'll turn it on through here and it'll you know have it playing through the uh, outdoor and the LED will be on you need to turn it off so that would be your PA system right there and then uh, like I said, I mean, you can do the Bluetooth like that as well, and I'll show you right now on the wiring right here. So we'll go ahead and start on the actual custom ones right here with these three wiring, and also make sure, you know, 
you watch the full video, like I said, so you can get a good idea of what I'm doing right here, because I know it's kind of weird. So right here, on the manual right here, it shows you how to record the messages. And whenever you, you know, if you buy one, you'll get the manual and all that stuff. But I'll go ahead and try to do some right now, or at least one, to show you how I do it. So I'll go ahead and try to record one of the messages to see how or show you how I recorded it and you know how to customize them right here. So on the user menu right here, it tells you right here what to do basically. It's pretty simple, but I'll show you how I did it. Like it says right here in number one, you know, you gotta open the door and it has to be grounded. So in our case, since I have it on the bench right here or you know, on this test area, remember we had blue and green right here and they weren't hooked up. So I just hooked it up to the ground that I ran on the battery. So this would, this is basically saying, you know, like the door is open already. And then the next piece or part, you know, turn your ignition on. So the car has to be on. And then remember, you know, I have my ignition right here, so I'll put it into on. That's on right there. And then the third step, press and release the program record button. The corresponding times whatever you know so if you want number one you do it one time two three you know all the way to nine so you can program it and you know remember i switched it to the toggle switch right here so let me see if i can do it in real time so you can i'll just be using my ipad for this example real quick you can customize you know anything you want you can download or crop any sounds and it, it seems like it's just i thought it was three seconds but it says it's five seconds so i did it a while back so i didn't remember but yeah it's five seconds so now that we have all that set up, let me go ahead and try this. All right, so I just went ahead and programmed three right now, and you can program up to like nine, but three of them are gonna be like auxiliaries, you know, or like shock sensors, motion sensors, and some of the other ones are like error, error codes or met error messages. So, you know, like if they hit the door or open the trunk and it'll give you another message, you can customize them all. But I'm gonna show you some right now that I just did and see if I can show you doing one like in real time because it is kind of tricky doing it with the toggle switch you got to play with it you know because it's not a push but yeah just playing with the toggle switch and going into the menu but I'll show you right now let me just show you the ones that I just programmed real quick so I'll go ahead and you know arm the system right here so ground fiber arm right there fiber arm Fiber all right that's good enough right there and then you'll see that whenever i do these they'll have the custom messages that i did and as you can tell nothing is hooked up on the auxiliary the bluetooth or the aux cable right now they're all off but i'll show you what i have to program real quick it's gonna be funny So there you go, that's three that I programmed right there. And let me see if I can show you how to do a, like I said, one in real time real quick. Also, don't forget to hit that like button if you like this or if you want to see any other videos just like this or similar different ones like wiring and stuff like that. I think, you know, it's pretty cool because you can do different things and customize it yourself. But let me keep going and show you guys the rest of this. All right, so let me try and see if I can show you how I do it in real time right here. It's really simple, like I said, and I'm gonna be using the iPad wired up with the auxiliary, straight into the module so you can get the best sound possible because you, know, you want it to sound clear and all that. So that way, uh, if you use their, you know, their microphone that we took off, that, you know, you get all that background noise and all that, but with this, it'll be clear. And you can, you know, pick anything you want out of anywhere. I'm gonna just be using a clip out of this uh, YouTube page right there. And I'll be programming the simple one because it's gonna be up in the line right here. So one of the higher ones, the number two, the white trigger input. Because I don't want to go down the message or the little line because I'll be flicking up more on the switch or flipping more on the switch. But basically, like I said, well, in the instruction it says right here, you know, it'll tell you to 
to open the door so i'll ground this green wire you know fooling the module right now that the door is open and then you have to put your ignition on so my ignition is here as many times so to get to number three we gotta do it like three times so it has to say or actually we're gonna do number two triggered so it has to say triggered if it doesn't say triggered then you gotta keep messing with it until you get that that blue white trigger message if not then you have to you know keep messing with it but let's try it out real quick so i should do it two times two or i think i'm three times because it doesn't read it that well but let's see As you can see, it's playing right there, and the light is on. It's gonna go off when it times out. It's gotta be see. It's pretty quick. It's like five seconds. So let's go ahead and see if it works now. So I'll turn. Well, I'm gonna pause that or whatever. All right, and then I'll turn off the ignition. That's off right there. And then this right here is already. Well, it's staying the on, so now we can turn it off. And then we'll unplug this ground wire. And then we'll ground the actual or arm the system and see if it's safe. Right here. Piper, disarm. Viper, Viper, arm. We're gonna do it one hand. Viper, arm. Alright, so. Now, if, if they record it right, it should have changed that previous message that I had into the one that was on the audio. And you couldn't really hear it because it was on auxiliary, so you'll hear it right here. Let's see if it worked out. Intruder alert. Hood or trunk action. Alright, so it should be the blue and white that we program right now. And if I tap it into ground, it should say that. Let me see what it records. and then from before it was these other ones that we had already let me see if i can try another one real quick so red white input error message recording Red, white, input, trigger message, recording. Alright, let's see if that one works right there. That's another song from another clip right here. And I'll go ahead and turn this off. So that's the ignition off already. And then we can leave this one off again. And I guess that was the red and white, so. These two should be different from the older one. I can take this ground off as well from the door. And then just, you know, back to ground here again. Viper, 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 arm. So once it's all mounted up in the car, um, you have you'll have this you know auxiliary flush mount it, and then you can plug in the Bluetooth. But like I said, I mean I'll just plug it in here to try it out, and you can see right here I'll turn it on, and you'll hear it when it comes on, and you'll see the LED. And like and also these their battery lasts a long time. This this one right here hasn't been charged since. The last time I made my other video on the Yukon, 
like I said, you can check it out posted right here on top. And as you can see, it does have one LED, but you can wire up like multiples. Like on my Yukon, I put two, and you'll see it on the video if you check it out. I do encourage you to like watch it because that way you can see how it's installed and everything like that. But so that's the Bluetooth right there, and then you know, I'll pair it up to the iPad and, and I'll try it for you right here. So you can see, you know, it'll play any sound through Bluetooth and stuff. So, you know, it's basically any sound, like I said, you, it'll go through right there. And this system will actually work on any alarm or any system. It doesn't have to be a Viper system. You know, they're all pretty much wired up the same. It might even work on factory, uh, like systems as long as you know these triggers get their their correct polarity which is like ground inputs you know as long as you give it ground it'll it'll give you those outputs so all these messages so you know if your car has a factory ground uh door trigger when the door opens you know it can be wired up to this or the hood or whatever it is and also to your custom you know little messages because all they want is you know that signal well that'll be it pretty much for this video guys um, if I missed anything, just let me know down below and I'll try to go over it more. And also, if you like this content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you want to see more videos like this of wiring and stuff like that. Or, you know, what do you guys want to see more of the cars and build? And just let me know, like I said. Also, if you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate it. And thanks for watching. So I'll see you guys on the next one. And